Do you have a little bit of time now? What's up? I have something to talk to you about. What is it? It's not about you, Diane, who became a mom at 43, is it? Is that a joke? I'm not finding it funny at all. It doesn't have to be funny. Huh? Because it's not a joke. What do you mean? It's true that you, the old lady, had a baby, right? It's just a fact. A fact. Old lady, could you choose your words a little more carefully? Are you telling your son that kind of story, too? What do you mean? Why are we talking about my son now? Don't you have any idea? You know about my daughter, Sarah, right? Your daughter? Yes, of course I know her. The child with an unpleasant look, right? What? Hold on. Cut it out. What's going on with you since earlier? What do you mean? I'm just telling the truth. Ugh, never mind. I heard it from Sarah. Your son Richard said to her, You're the daughter of that old lady. I can hardly believe it, but are you teaching your son that kind of thing? Oh, come on. It's nothing. Huh? Is there a problem with that? Is there a problem? Are you serious? But it's the truth, so there's nothing to be done about it. The truth? What truth? Can't we just drop it? Do you still have something to complain about? I can't believe it. There's more. Richard apparently kept telling Sarah, Your brain is rotting because you were born from that old lady. And ignored her cries of please stop while continuing to say those terrible and vulgar words. A child wouldn't come up with such cruel and filthy words on their own, right? Did you teach him that? Well, the thing is, old lady means an old woman who has a lot of physical deterioration, right? And obviously, a child born from such a deteriorated body would naturally have defects. I just told Richard the truth. Don't get mad just because he said the truth, okay? Get mad? Yeah, it's not like that's what happened. Richard is different from Sarah. He's smart and good-looking. And he can even play sports. In fact, he was second in the class on the last test. To be honest, my son is a genius. Yeah, it's unfortunate that Sarah was born from an old woman, but there's nothing to be done about it. At this point, talk about your son's specs doesn't matter at all. Huh? Don't you think it's a problem that your son speaks disrespectfully towards others? Clearly, it's a sign that your parenting isn't working properly. You should be more responsible as a parent and teach your son the right way. Otherwise, Richard will be pitiable, too. What are you saying? You're really unbelievable. What's so unbelievable? How can you not feel ashamed to meddle in someone else's parenting? What are you talking about? It's more embarrassing for you as a person to be a mother without even having basic manners. Huh? What do you mean? It means that as a parent, it's a problem that you can't distinguish between what is appropriate and what is not appropriate to say as a person. You used to play around with a lot of men since you were a student, right? What? Is it jealousy from an unattractive old hag? And then you ran away multiple times, and before you knew it, you were pregnant. It was a mistake to expect proper discipline from someone who didn't take school seriously and only played around with men. What are you talking about? You're really a rude... An unacceptable person.
I will never forgive you. I don't need your forgiveness. By the way, the graduation ceremony today smelled really bad. Oh, and it was your smell. The smell of an old lady was everywhere, and it made me sick. I know you understand, but could you please not come to the next entrance ceremony? Why should I? Sarah is going to enroll. I have no reason to follow your orders. Anyway, you should seriously reconsider your role as a parent and your child's education. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't interfere with our education policy. That is what's wrong with old people. Are you losing your mind or something? The day of the entrance ceremony. Hi there. Hey, wait. Respond to me. What do you want? You didn't come to today's entrance ceremony. I'm glad I didn't have to see the face of an old hag like you. <laughs> I did attend the entrance ceremony. What? I looked for you, but you weren't there. Oh, weren't you supposed to be able to sniff me out with your dog-like sense of smell? Don't make fun of me. You must have drenched yourself in perfume. I didn't smell anything at all. I'm not using any perfume. Even if I were, I think your scent would be stronger. Don't you agree? Well, people with poor thinking skills tend to have poor judgment. Cut it out already. Don't talk to me with such a disrespectful tone. Now, now. Don't get so worked up, okay? Getting angry is bad for your skin, you know. What? Don't you dare lecture me on my skin, old lady. Oh, that's too bad. So where are you right now? I'm at the entrance ceremony. It's a different school from where your son is attending. Wait, a different school? It's a private elementary school in the neighboring town. You know it too, don't you? The neighboring town? That's not the place where elites go. You're joking, right? There's no way an old lady's daughter would get in there. It's absolutely impossible. It's possible. Sarah studied hard and got in. I'd like to see the face of the person who said her brain was rotten. What did you say? It's a fact. Unlike your home, we have a proper education system here. Unbelievable. I won't forgive this. Well, I can understand why you can't forgive it. I heard from someone else that your son also took the entrance exam, didn't he? But he didn't pass, did he? So, you had no choice but to enroll him in a nearby elementary school, right? You can't tolerate that someone you looked down on ended up going to a better school than you, can you? Your pride won't allow it. But this is the truth. You should accept the truth. Besides, even at that school, you can receive a proper education. It's not the truth. It's something that can't be possible. What are you talking about? What kind of trick did you use? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You must have cheated. Like getting in through the back door. <sighs> are you still saying that? I just took the exam normally. At the school's interview? They also evaluate the parent's character. It's impossible for someone like you and your child to pass. Yes, they do evaluate the parents as well. So is that why you didn't pass? It was an interview where not only the child, but also the parent's responses were evaluated. I wonder if your poor upbringing was leaking out. The other parents were all very calm in comparison to you. It's like night and day. What? I'm plenty calm. You should reevaluate yourself. Everyone was so polite and had common sense. 
unlike someone I know. This makes me so angry. If my husband made more money, we could have hired a private tutor. Then Richard would have definitely passed. This isn't fair. A private tutor? Ah, oh, yes. Maybe if you had more money, you could have taken a manners course, too. You could use it. Next year. Don't run away. What? Of course you'll participate, right? What are you talking about all of a sudden? Explain properly. The upcoming sports event. Local kids are participating. You received the participation invitation, right? Your daughter, Sarah, will also participate, right? Ah, that matter. I haven't decided yet. I don't know if Sarah wants to participate or not. We're in the middle of discussing it as a family. If it's sports, my son will definitely win. <sighs> Are you still holding a grudge from a year ago? I'm really disappointed. I thought things had finally calmed down. Besides, I don't even understand the point of competing. Sorry, but this time I'm definitely going to make sure my son wins. Richard would never lose to your child. This time, it's your turn to be embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and get excited by yourself. Well, let's do our best, okay? On the day of the event... Diane, aren't you coming in today's event? I looked for you, but couldn't find you. I saw Sarah with her friends, though. Actually, I felt ill this morning. I really wanted to go and cheer for Sarah, but I suddenly couldn't make it. Oh, I see. Are you feeling okay now? Thank you. I've been a little dizzy since this morning, and I think I have a fever. But I think I'll feel better if I get a little rest. Be sure not to push yourself too hard. By the way, can't your husband come in your place? He can't take the day off work today. I'm really disappointed that I can't see Sarah doing her best. If it's not too much trouble, could you take care of my daughter? Of course. I'll also take some photos and send them to you later. Thank you so much. I have good friends. One hour later. Diane, it's terrible. Are you awake? Yes, I'm awake. What happened? It seems like Sarah got injured. What? Is Sarah okay? Is she safe? Calm down. Sarah is fine. I need to get in touch with Sarah. Please tell me what happened in detail. Sure. I think it happened just after the sports event started. Someone pushed her from behind, and it seems like she fell down. That happened? Is she hurt? Sarah wasn't hurt, right? Calm down. It seems like she scraped her face a little bit, but she didn't have any other serious injuries. Since there wasn't much blood either, it's really good. I see. She didn't have any major injuries. That's really good. Where is Sarah now? She's resting in the first aid room at the event venue. It was really dangerous though. What do you mean? I was pushed down just before the stairs on a flat surface. If it had happened on the stairs, I might have been hurt more than just a scraped face. I'm really glad it wasn't worse. Just thinking about it is scary. I wouldn't be able to keep my cool if something happened to my daughter. Ugh, oh, I'm really relieved. Oh, by the way, there's something that's been bothering me a bit. What's wrong? Tell me anything. 
You told me earlier that Sarah was pushed, right? I wonder if someone deliberately pushed Sarah. Or if it was an accident where they bumped into each other while fooling around. I saw what happened at the scene at that time. There was a boy about the same age as Sarah who seemed to have done it on purpose. A boy about the same age? He pushed Sarah's back with both hands as if he did it on purpose. I thought that was clearly deliberate. I don't think it was an accident where they just happened to bump into each other. I see. Other parents who were there also said it was clearly intentional. And even the event staff quickly rushed over so anyone could tell what had happened. I see. Thank you for watching over Sarah. What happened to the boy afterwards? The event staff kicked him out for engaging in malicious behavior. He pushed Sarah in a very obnoxious way in front of everyone, so there was no excuse for his actions. But then his mother came running out and started complaining to the event staff. So his mother was there too. Was she a young mother? I think so. She was upset that her son was kicked out just for bumping into someone. She thought it was unfair. In the end, they were forcibly expelled together with their parents. I'm glad they were expelled. Yeah, but they didn't seem to be satisfied at all. They were swearing loudly until the very end. I see. I think I understand the situation. Anyway, I'm so glad Sarah is safe. Truly. Thank you for letting me know about it right away. Don't worry about it. Parents are always the most worried about their children. Let's help each other out when we're in trouble again. Thank you so much. I'm going to try contacting that boy's parents once and ask them why they did such a thing to my child. Immediately following. I have an important matter to discuss. Did you commit an act of violence against my daughter? What are you talking about? You don't have any recollection of it? Of course not. Can you stop making baseless accusations? Do you have any evidence to support your claim? My friend told me that Sarah was hurt by Richard. There was actually someone who witnessed it. Don't think you can talk your way out of it. Are you sure it wasn't a misunderstanding? I mean, there were a lot of kids at the event. Many of them the same age, right? Without any evidence, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Are you just being paranoid? You're accusing me of being paranoid? Old women have vivid imaginations, don't they? Do you think this was just a figment of my imagination? Sarah was injured on her face, you know. It's not like it was a serious injury, right? This is clearly an act of violence. Can't you distinguish between right and wrong? Then why do you say that Richard pushed your daughter? Stop making unpleasant accusations, okay? How about you take a step back and calm down a bit? No one said that someone pushed her. How did you know that Sarah was pushed? Huh? Confess. Stop telling ugly lies. What? It was just an accident. So you admit that you pushed her. It's not just that. Richard Childer hit your daughter a little bit. But your daughter, she fell spectacularly. Your daughter's body is too weak. Sarah's body is not particularly weak. It's because she's not trained enough. It's her fault for coming to a sport event with such a weak body. What did you say? Are you still making excuses at this point? You're saying it was just a little shoulder bump. That's right. There were eyewitnesses. They saw Richard pushing Sarah from behind with both hands. 
produce all that? It seems like he pushed her quite blatantly in a very conspicuous place. I heard you were kicked out by the event organizers. Anyone could see it was an act with malice, so that's why you were kicked out, right? That's why I'm saying it was just a minor accident. If it looked like an accident, they wouldn't have taken such measures. It's really unthinkable to push someone else like that. Are you really a parent? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. Even if it was really an accident, there are things you should say as a parent. There's no way this could be just an accident, so it's a problem that can't be resolved with such a simple explanation. You have no right to talk about my parenting. Are you teaching your own son to push people around? I question your sense of decency as a human being. What? Don't meddle in other people's parenting. What would you have done if my daughter's injury had been more serious? You should think more carefully about what you're saying. You need to get a grip on your delusions of persecution. It could have been an irreparable situation. Would you say the same thing if your child was treated the same way? Stop with your annoying preaching, old woman. This is not a sermon. It's a protest. First of all, it's absurd to let such a weakling play sports. You should have done something about that. What are you talking about? A child born from an old woman like you is bound to have a weak body. It's crazy to let such a child play sports with other children. It's because of your daughter's weakness that my son was ejected from the game, right? Are you out of your mind? I'd rather you apologize to me instead. Apologize right now. <sighs> What now? I'm just telling the truth. You are an unfit mother. I feel sorry for Richard. What? What's so sorry about my son? He's being raised with a twisted education that teaches him to push people around. Why wouldn't I say that it's a sad situation? Don't get me worked up. Mind your own business. You don't admit your mistakes and instead blame others. You don't care if you hurt others with your words or violence. Children sometimes don't know right from wrong. Do you want to raise your son to be a violent person? Don't play the victim card. The real victim is on our side. What kind of victim are you talking about? Anyway, just know your place. Don't even think about letting a weak body participate in a sports event. If you keep saying such selfish things, someday you'll face divine retribution. One week later. Hey! Hey! Answer me! Hey! Do you need something? What did you do? What are you talking about? If you have something to say, please say it quickly. I'm busy. Huh? What's with that arrogant attitude? So, what's the matter? I was suddenly fired from my job. Oh, really? And what about it? It's not what about it. Cut it out. But I have nothing to do with it. Did you do something? What are you talking about? Please stop taking it out on me. What's going on here? What did you really do? I'm telling you, I didn't do anything. I don't even want to be involved with you more than necessary. So please stop doubting me without any evidence. Are you having fun sabotaging me? You're being persistent. I don't know anything. What? I won't forgive you 
It's definitely your fault. You must have used some dirty tricks. I'm busy. Is there anything else you need? I'll excuse myself now. Wait a minute. Hey, are you ignoring me? Don't mess with my life anymore, you old hag. Soliloquy. I ignored her messages because she was too persistent and annoying. But honestly, it felt like karma. I told her that I didn't know anything, but the truth is different. The owner of the company where she works is actually my grandfather. I've known this for a while. I secretly told my grandfather that Sarah, his granddaughter, was being bullied by her son. Well, it's just a family matter, so there was no need to keep it a secret. My grandfather was also very fond of Sarah. That's why he was really angry, especially because her behavior was malicious. It seems like he had been thinking about what to do for a long time. But the sports event the other day was the deciding factor. Whatever the reason, violence is unacceptable. Apparently, her work attitude was already very bad. She had a lot of conflicts with other employees and was a chronic latecomer and absentee. Even when she made a mistake at work, she didn't show any sign of apology or improvement. She quickly blamed other employees and seemed to have difficulty dealing with her behavior. Amidst all this, Sarah's situation overlapped, and she was immediately fired at her grandfather's discretion. Frankly, she brought it on herself. I advised her to reconsider her way of thinking. But even after all this, she doesn't show any sign of remorse. To be honest, I was showered with a lot of abusive language. And it wasn't just me. My daughter was put in danger, too. I am not a saint, either. If she doesn't reflect on her actions, I won't stay silent, either. One week later... Hey, answer me. Is it you again? What do you want now? I won't take any complaints. My husband is pushing for a divorce. It's all your fault, isn't it? Hey, say something. Divorce? That's terrible. I haven't done anything that could cause your divorce. You liar. Don't lie. I won't be fooled. I can see through the dirty tricks of an old hag like you. Now, now, don't get so worked up. I just sent a photo of you walking with another man, that's all. I knew it. It was all your fault. It's all your fault. Take responsibility. Responsibility? What exactly do you want me to take responsibility for? You know that better than anyone else. Oh, perhaps I should have sent a photo of you two entering the hotel together. Sorry, that's more definitive, isn't it? I'll send that photo to you later. What? Stop it, you stalker. So you've been following me, you old hag? Following you? Don't say bad things about me behind my back. I heard a rumor the other day that you were cheating. What did you say? I heard that you've been hooking up with men since you were a student. Even though you're married and have children, to cheat is just unbelievable. I really can't believe it. Shut up! Don't you feel sorry for your husband and son? Don't you have any sense of valuing your family? It's always about yourself. Shut up. It's none of your business. Why should I have to be lectured by an old hag like you? Just thinking about being followed by someone like you makes me irritated. That's why I'm saying I wasn't following you. What? Don't lie. Then what about that picture? I'm not that free, you know. My friend happened to find you at the scene of your affair, so she told me. What? 
Why do I have to go through this with strangers? What did I do to them? This is ridiculous. Don't you have any idea about it yourself? At the sports event, everyone saw you and Richard causing a scene. You were even getting a lot of attention. I didn't do anything embarrassing. Being forced to leave like that doesn't happen unless it's a serious breach of etiquette. A breach of etiquette? Who and when did I breach any etiquette? You still don't realize it, do you? It's because of your daughter that I was suspected. It was such a nuisance. You know, honestly, all the parents who have children in this area have a bad impression of you. Well, of course. You allow your own children to use violence against other people's children. And on top of that, there's no apology or remorse from you. There's no need to apologize. Also, the fact that you blame the victim for having a weak body is just ridiculous. It's difficult to have a good impression of you with all of this. That was your daughter Sarah's fault for having a weak body. We should be the ones receiving an apology. She fell and got hurt on her own accord. Don't act like the victim. Yeah, yeah. So what are you trying to say in the end? Why? Why do you always have to interfere with people's lives like this? And you're saying that. You, who have unilaterally showered my daughter with abusive words and caused her injuries. You really have some serious issues. What are you talking about? But if I had to give a reason for this incident, was it to protect your husband's life? Huh? Right now, we're talking about why you're interfering with my life. Why are we talking about my husband? Because your husband is pitiable. You, as a wife, couldn't raise your children properly and abandoned both your child and husband to go play around with other men. That's the truth. You can't make any more excuses. You need to admit your mistakes. Mistakes? You're just a hag harassing me with your dirty hands. You're the one at fault. Don't you understand yet? How pitiful. You can't even realize what you're about to lose. Who do you think is responsible for me almost losing it? You should be quiet and take responsibility. Reflect on what you've done this time. You should also apologize to your husband. And you should apologize to Sarah and me, too. Why do I have to apologize? I haven't done anything wrong. Who do you think you are? You're just jealous, aren't you? Jealous? Of what? My youth. You're jealous because I'm young and beautiful, right? That's right. You're an old hag while I'm still fresh. You envy my face without wrinkles, right? And my firm skin, too. I don't really understand what you're saying, but I've never once thought that I envy you. Your inner ugliness shows on your face. Shut up! It's not right to judge others by their age. I wonder what will be left of you when you get older. What did you say? You envy me when I'm young? And you're jealous of my son's talent, too? <sighs> There's no point in talking to you. I don't care about your son's story. I don't want to keep in touch with you anymore. What are you talking about? It's pointless and a waste of time. Don't contact me again. Wait a minute. We're not done talking yet. There's nothing more to talk about. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to block you. Please don't try to call me using a different number. Hey! Hey, wait! Thereafter. I unilaterally cut off communication and set it up so that we can no longer contact each other. 
Honestly, I wanted to do this sooner, but I had to think about my daughter and wanted to settle things properly. I don't think she'll bother me anymore after this. She's facing divorce issues and will be busy with that. Afterwards, she was apparently abandoned by her husband and became a single mother. And with the timing of being fired from her job, she had to rely on her parents because she had no economic power. And to make things worse, she left her child with her parents and started partying again. Apparently, she's changing boyfriends every day. It's like she hasn't learned anything at all. Her parents were furious about this and are now keeping her busy with housework all day to prevent her from going out. They're forcing her to live a life where she's constantly being watched inside the house. With this matter settled, I feel relieved and free from stress and can live my life freely. Sarah, my daughter, doesn't get bullied anymore and goes to school with a smile on her face every day.